Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti, and today I have a tutorial showing how to make these keycaps out of polymer clay and resin. And this is in collaboration with Lorian's craft box, so don't forget to check out her video. So the main most important ingredient or material are these PVC keycaps. And PVC keycaps are really good because you can bake them and they won't melt when you bake it with polymer clay. So first I'm just putting a layer of liquid clay on the border of the keycap. And then I'm adding these little balls of granite clay and this will be like the stones around the hot spring. And after carefully placing one rink, I'm going to do that two more times so we have three total. And this is how it looks baked. So then we're going to make the animals. So I'm taking some orangey brown clay and I'm going to pinch it into kind of like a boxy cone shape. And this will be the capybara. And I'm going to add little nubs on the top for the ears. Then taking some slightly browner clay, I'm going to pinch it into a rectangular shape and I'm going to cut off the end. And we're going to place that into the middle of our capybara face. Next, since it's in a hot spring and capybara are kind of attitude-y, we're going to give it some oval eyes and then an oval nose. And then a little orange ball on top because I saw a picture of capybara with a bunch of little oranges. And we're going to add a little piece of green clay in the middle. And then we're just going to cut off the end of the capybara. Then we're going to make a little cartoon version of those uh, Japanese hot spring monkeys. So I'm taking some tan clay and I'm going to roll it into a ball. And we're going to add a giant pink circle on top for the face. Two little half circles for the ears. A circular nose in the middle. Along with two dot eyes. And then a line smile. And we're going to cut the end as well. And then the last one I made like uh, a rubber duck kind of figure so we're gonna make a ball of yellow clay we're gonna give it an oval beak and then two oval eyes and then we're just gonna cut off the end as well and bake those three according to instructions next we're gonna add some resin into our project so I'm adding some light blue pigment and some glitter into some UV resin and mixing it all together. Next, I'm gonna put a layer of the blue resin into the hot spring and let that cure after one layer. Then after a second layer, I'm just gonna add a layer of resin on top just so I can use that as a glue to put on my animal. So I'm putting in the monkey first in the middle and then letting that cure. Then for the next one, we're going to do the capybara. So I'm adding my layer of resin as glue and putting my capybara into the middle of the hot spring. And then I'm adding these tiny little oranges that I made. It's the same one as the one I made on top of its head. And then that cure as well. And then for the rubber ducky, we're going to do the same thing, adding the resin and then the duck in the middle and then letting that cure. So here are my finished keycaps. I have my three animals. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you get to watch to the end, you get to see me putting them on a keyboard and clacking them away.
So thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below which keycap you like the best. And thank you all for watching.